Hey everyone, this video is going to show you how to utilize the item analysis for tests in Blackboard. Using the test item analysis gives you the opportunity to see which questions were most missed, which ones did students do well on, um, among other types of data that come with it. So I'm going to head into a class and you can actually find the um, test item analysis in two separate places. So the first one, the one that makes the most sense, would probably be going into your grade center as you're looking for a test or, use, or grading your test or looking at um, final test scores. So if you find a test, I'm going to actually go ahead and hit the drop down next to it. So if you want to see what I did, I just hit the drop down next to it. And I come to item analysis. And so what this does is it actually brings me into where all my tests are. And if I have all of these tests here, I can actually pick whichever one I want. So even though I wanted the one I selected, um, this exam two period eight, I actually could find any of the ones I wanted. And then I can click on my exam two period eight and say run. And what that'll do is it'll populate it down here. Another option, if I don't want to go through Grade Center, maybe I just want to start looking at some of my test item analysis and I don't want to toggle through Grade Center, I can actually just come to my class tools, scroll down to test surveys and pools, and click on tests. So I can go to any test that has been deployed. Okay, so if it says no, I'm not going to get the option because nobody's taken it. So I won't be able to get um, item analysis from a test that nobody has taken. So I want to go to one that is deployed in my class. And um, that's the one I just looked at through Grade Center. So let's try um, a different one. So I'm going to select the drop down arrow next to this. And it's, you see it gives me item analysis. And it takes me right back to that same page where I can choose any test I want of my exams. And then I select Run. All right, so if I look at exam four, the one I just selected, I can come right down here and it tells me, okay, 42 possible points, 35 questions. I actually have people in progress and I have uh, 15 that have been completed. And so far, this is my average score. Um, and then it gives me some discrimination and difficulty information. And then I can come down here and look at all graded attempts. So as of right now, I have 15 graded attempts on these questions and it gives me my average score. So if each one is worth one point, let's say, um, you know that everybody's gotten this one correct so far, correct, correct, but not here. So we have about a 50% um, correction. So if I wanna come and look at this, I actually can just click on the question itself and I can see so far the top 25 test takers selected A, the correct answer, the second 25% selected A, the correct answer, third and the bottom 25 and so on. But I also see that I have some of my top tier students missing this one along with some of the others as well. So I can see not only who selected these, maybe not by name, but where uh, my students fall in the uh, success of this particular test, but I can also see which questions are more missed. So, this might not be the misunderstanding, but maybe this answer choice and this answer choice, they're misunderstanding something between these two. So I can return back to that test. If I want to select a different one, same thing. Um, I can go through here, 25 possible points, 25 questions. I have none in progress. Everybody's, I have 15 completed attempts. Um, mm -hmm. And same thing. So I can look through here. It even tells me which kind. If I only want to work, uh, look at a certain question type, I can come here and choose. I want to see just only my true false questions. And so this tells me my true false questions. Okay, so I hope item test analysis actually helps you uh, look at some of your exams, look at some of that data and see what kind of things you might need to go back and reteach and what other things maybe you can up the rigor.